fire department in Marion County says their hands are tied when it comes to responding to a well traveled part of their community, a part of the interstate most of us take to get to Nashville. Channel 3's Travis Cummings joins us in the studio now with their concerns. Travis. Hey Cindy, normally firefighters are the ones coming to your rescue in case of a fire or any other pressing incident, but this department themselves are calling out for help. I basically love it. For David Smith, fighting fire is a labor of love. He's been doing it since he was 18. If we go out there, we don't get back and not unless we call for backup. We've got different fire halls we call for backup. And also, like you said, put our families in, in the spot for help wonder if we're going to come home or what's going to happen, you know. The lieutenant with the Battle Creek Volunteer Fire Department in Marion County says his crew has struggled to do their jobs due to lack of resources and that his community has gotten the short end of the stick. I love to cover all the calls, but, you know, we don't have the money to do the interstates. Like I said, we only do, we do that for entrapments only. Specifically, a spot on I-24 between Mont Eagle and Battle Creek, where the department has rejected calls in recent years due to the area being outside of their charter. Smith says there's no money and no manpower. Get funds to help on roadblocks. Help us raise money for the fire hall to get where we can afford stuff to come in, like you know, maintenance on our trucks. We reached out to Marion County Mayor David Jackson, who said the Battle Creek Fire Department sent a proposal to the Tennessee Department of Transportation under a former governor's administration in 2016. He says a request to fix the issue was denied, but anything is possible under a new governor. A spokesperson for the state's fire marshal office told us, quote, local governments enable fire departments to act in their jurisdictions and approve the response areas, end quote. So the county government in this case has the authority to approve the response boundary lines for fires. The state tells us they have no authority over that. And so simply put, most volunteer fire departments receive the bulk of their annual funding from county governments. They are often forced to fundraise and we'll tell you how you can support this fire department online and inside our app. In the studio, Travis Cummings, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Travis. We're learning that the cost of home insurance is higher for homeowners farther from fire stations. On average, across the U.S., the cost of coverage goes up by 9% for homes that are 25 miles or more away from the nearest fire station compared to homes that are less than a mile from emergency services.